all it took was a car battery and some new wires to get her running, but she ain't driving yet. Not we driving. Still, we're not out of the woods yet. So we're gonna get her out of here. <laughs> You're probably used to watching us at Running Ross work on nothing but Fords and drag cars. Well, this time we're going to attempt our first revival and we're going to do it no other than a Chevy. Make sure you watch the end to see how this played out. This right here is our Chevy C20. We've never worked on a Chevy before, but we thought the first best time would be, can we make a drive home? Yeah, that's where I was. I was at the bottom of the hill. Yeah, I was at the bottom of the hill. 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 I was at the bottom of the Josh is our guru for uh, whatever <laughs> for car stuff. Well, I don't know if I can go that far. Yeah. I like tinkering. So our drag car was a stick shift. Now it's automatic. So. Well, it uh, the stick shift got shattered in, into a million pieces. Yeah. We had all so kinds had of a, fail. We had aluminum blocks in the back, lowering blocks, and we uh we crushed them. Like they. I tried launching it with a little bit more beans. Yeah, your beans it turned crushed to the... the aluminum blocks, dropped the differential, like tipped it down and ripped out the, basically broke the main shaft of the transmit. It... <laughs> oh, we got lights. You got lights? A blinking light anyhow. All right, give me a sec, come on. You wanna make sure it's in park? Guess let it rip. Oh. Can you give another rip? It's pretty rusted up, but... Right. Okay. Right, it started right up. At this point, we realized we might actually be able to do this. Just a few modifications, and we got the car to run, and it was running strong. Well, it definitely started. Now, we're trying to get this transmission to work, but we're starting to realize we're going to have issues coming up. Has it got transmission fluid? I got rags in there, I can check. I bet you put some fluid in there, it'll be good. It's usually all it is. Well, well we got all old, dirty, clogged up stuff. I do got some fluid. You got tranny fluid? Deep in there, I do. That's you. I got only one quart though. I just, that's what I had sitting in the garage. Oh, God. Yeah, might be enough. Oh, 
my shit so hard to get to? It's like we need a little transmission fluid. I, doubt, I think it's probably a slow leak. Well, the store, close to the store is probably pretty far, right? That's not terrible. But let's give this a try. And if not, what's our other plan? Pull it? Pull it out. I mean, let's give it another try and then. I guess we pull it. Yeah, it did. All it took was a car battery and some new wires to get her running, but she ain't driving yet. Not driving. We're, still, we're not out of the woods yet. So we're going to get her out of here. Sweet. All right, start over. <laughs> there we go. You keep going back. Okay. <laughs> all right. I mean, we got that come along, which I love. Surprisingly, so far, these tires that are super dry are out of. Look at this. That's how you want it. Hey, you have extra speed, and you lose bits of the rubber. The hold there. This one's got five oh, pounds. Here, here comes the guy. Dude, we need that cash. Don't, we'll hook them up. All right, we're getting a little assistance here. Uh, I got bungees in here. We can end up bungeeing it. that block under there Josh. Alright so so we got the truck. It's all got pushed up by the skids here. You see in the bed there's uh there's beer. Well we didn't have cash to give him but we did have beer. <laughs> Sam Adam There's only one way to get the car home we know. Oh say hi to the pig. You can buy the pig. Bye pig bye pig and uh Oh my that. god, look at these hills. We can't do that this second because we're blocking up a road, we're in the mud. So we decided we're gonna take we're gonna pull the truck to probably you do a car wash, spray it down, and then uh wrench out of there, get some more training fluid filled up, and see if we can't get this thing rolling. We're only moving it because we have to, not because we want to with the trailer. Which way? You will see our success or failure pretty soon. And by the sounds of it, maybe failure. No, we got this. I didn't like that turn. No. We're about a, maybe a half a mile away. Eh, yeah. Um, it fell off on the one side and then this, the wheel turned and the car almost fell off. So we're gonna, the problem is we got a dolly instead of a full trailer and the truck is too wide and the tires are too tall. So we're gonna try to air down the tires to make them smaller so maybe we can get the straps over and maybe they'll hold. 
I think that strap came off the tire. Oh, what? Did it actually come off the tire? Yeah. Oh boy. Partially our fault. This thing slides. So in our haste, uh, we didn't realize that these move. So we had them slid all the way in and it fell off them and then it was on the suspension. And, you know, we had a lot going on because of the way that it was. Yep. So now we've uh, come across a slight hiccup in the road. Slight? <laughs> I can't get this strap through. The worst part of all this is my bladder is full. So, always pee before you do this stuff. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. You know it's good once the old crappy strap slips. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, Josh? No, stop. It's actually worse. Oh, you're on the strap. Oh, I can get that out. Really? Oh. <laughs> now your hands are all dirty. Sorry. That's supposed to be my job. So we couldn't push it. So we decided, why don't we just move the move the move the truck around? Hope this guy's not coming this way. Don't come this way. You'll be disappointed. Is that our guy? No. Maybe he's coming to return our tools. Yeah. First off, uh, you'll notice, look at the bed of our truck. Absolute chaos. Um, the chaos actually lends itself to, a, a, well, well, we're, we lost long story tools. short, we left a 100 piece set of tools and all the chaos there. So he was more than happy to help us. And I have a feeling it's because he was eyeballing those tools on the side. I think so. so but I don't like driving these mountains. With the dolly. With the dolly. So what I'm gonna do, is what you shouldn't do. I'm gonna eat the cost. What does that mean? Eat the cost. We're just gonna oh, the hundred dollars. Yes, too. yeah, that's a small price to pay. Sorry, Hunter. Sorry, hey, Hunter. Dave will help you. Those were Hunter's tools. Well, really, he didn't show up for this, so. Yeah, that's true. You know. No, he did. They already sent me the money. Not everybody's done that. Yeah. Does that look pretty good now? Oh, I can't pull it, so. All right. What are the odds? All right. In the comments, before you watch any more of the videos, I want you guys to say how many times you think we'll have to stop to fix stuff on this, on the way. So far, this is um, one. So we we missed the route, and now it's got us on this sketchy one-lane road that's made out of gravel next to drop on it. With a trailer that's falling apart, a bumpy road, and Lord. we're towing probably more than my truck's capacity. So what could go wrong? What could go wrong? Oh, God. Right. So if you did the over, if you said that we weren't ever going to have to stop again, you were wrong. Um, we're about three miles down the road and we went through asphalt or gravel heaven with potholes and all sorts of giant crap. hills. And everything is slipping around again. So stop, stop, number two, complete. Put two hash marks on the screen. There we go. So we'll see. We know for sure we'll make it to three, but. Uh, but the see. difference now is we're on paved roads yeah, rather so than dirt roads. Look at this. I want to roads. show you guys while we're stopped here. We might as well. This car has been off the road so many times that it's, it's growing moss on it. It's got moss on it. The, uh, been painted a few times you can tell i think that might be the original brown primer and then here we got some red white and blue baby in the in the bed so the car's for sure been white blue and red a different i think the original the color is blue maybe <laughs> so if you voted at three. least three times you're potentially right this is stop number three you'll see that the wheels turned again i think that whenever i uh i turn sharp it gets a little sticky and then it slips because it's, well, you saw it earlier, it was raining cats and dogs and all that sort of stuff. So 
we're gonna do the right thing and get it resituated. Every time we every time we have to do this, you gotta loosen this stuff up, turn the wheel, and then we can uh, restrap stuff down. So but look at how look at how fast we're getting at it. So first off, I want to show you guys some stuff. First off, this right here, the whole seat's covered in doo-doo from mice. So hopefully we're shaking them all loose before we get back. You saw it here first. Stop number three. Number Down three. Books. Are we going to make it all the way home without another stop? Probably not. But you'll find out soon. Keep watching. Right here. Oh, that's shredded, Josh. On this side, but it really f***ed up the fender. Did it really? Yeah. Oh. The fender's all f If you want to see another reason to buy a full trailer instead, this is it. Uh, this tire completely destroyed. Look at this fender. It destroyed. It destroyed this part of the truck. White body work, Kenobi. <laughs> Look at that, it's like brand new. There you go. I'm trying to, I can bend this back so it doesn't get caught on the next tire. As I'm jacking up this car right now, I can't help but think about what Barbara Walters might be doing right now. I don't know, I'm just curious. <laughs> okay. Look at that thing. Oh Oh my god! Look at the size of those brakes! Right. What is this? What is that? It's the exhaust! Oh, that's too, huh? Boy, everything went back there. Goodbye. Alright. We just got a performance exhaust now, baby. So I think a little fix it flat, and we might be fine with this, so we'll save it just in case. wondering if you have the opportunity to if you're rescuing a classic vehicle with dry rotted tires get a full trailer or new tires yeah otherwise you'll end up like us we still got one real dry rot tire on the other side and we got three and a half hours of driving left all right let's take let's talk for a minute so the state of Ohio screwed us. You look right over there. There's an exit ramp. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a rest area. They got closed off. Closed for construction. We popped a tire in the perfect spot if it wasn't closed for construction. Damn it. Dang you, Ohio, making your stuff all better. Right. Number one thing, always make sure you have all your tools accounted for. Sorry, Hunter. Sorry, Hunter. No, shout to Hunter. Sorry, we got you, man. We got you. We'll get you tool. We'll get you tools that are worth at least half as much. Half as much. Because those old, those were used. Right? Were they used? They were well by us. Yeah. But you know, those weren't perfect tools. It's a damage, so I don't. I'm not paying a full price. Oh, Josh. What? Yeah. Aha. Everything popped off over here. Okay. There you go. Whoa. I knew I felt something. Oh so, my god. So um, we're going down the highway. And uh, uh, by the way, number five. Number five. And that's not Thanks a good one. Them. This is Mumbo number five. So, and the trailer's wagging like crazy. I'm like, that's just, something is just wrong. Yeah, real so wrong. Because we're down to one tire strap down. Okay. Holy Does it count as a sixth and seventh stop if we only made it from there? To here. Because I think it does. We had to do two sharp turns and the straps came off and so the wheel is turned. Here's our here's our biggest problem. Every time we make turns, especially sharp turns, the tires rotate. And then they don't rotate. And they don't go back. 
so we're sort of in a in a pickle now we have to loosen them up and then turn the steering wheel to get it back in place how's it look this side looks good this looks good you want to check them things right there no i don't want to touch anything how's them tires look video taping yeah. all right so we're gonna count it this is stop number eight or nine eight or nine we'll check check the record so either eight or nine um truck's still in one piece we're on a decent stretch of time with stuff going well but it's pretty easy roads right now um a little town here yeah look at nice little town look at this rust free perfect paint it's actually not in bad shape not too bad i mean you can tell it's got from the paint jobs there's some bondo a little bondo you can tell whoever did it was very stripey they're painted like a zebra Muscle. i don't know dude I think that we might have solved the issue. I think something got something got uh, done right. Because it's that clearly has not moved since. No. I think you know it could be everything is dry now. It's not wet anymore. So it's not slippery. Yeah. I don't know. That's true. That is a point. Alright. That's a thing. Stop ten. Truck in here. That blue. I told you. Behind I thought, the inner fender. I thought it was blue. Oh yeah, that blue, man. There it is. You will see our success or failure pretty soon. And by the sounds of it, maybe failure. No, we got this. <gasps> Alright, don't risk not being able to put it in gear. What are you doing? I don't know, man. There's a lot of smoke there. Smoke. Yeah, it's probably from that fluid. What? It's probably from that fluid. Nah, it is what it is. Alright, let's move it. Let's stop. Around. Yeah, this is gonna be here all night. Let's get that battery out. It's just, it is what it is. It's, it's not in a position where it can start right now. Yeah. It's got varnish gas in it. It's got a carburetor. And a fuel supply. Oh. That's fine. Just let's push this thing. Oh no. What? Right, close that up. Alright, so you gotta be on the ready to steer it. It's hard for me to push it into the steer. I know. Hopefully it'll do a little better. Can I? Well, the oh, body no. is torqued because the door won't close. Okay. Three. How can we push hard? We can't. It's too heavy. Oh. We need to either... Because everything's moving. Trailer and everything's moving. Yeah. A lot of our energy is being wasted. Yeah. 
Wait, 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 wait. Wait. What? I'm lifting up the thing. No, I got an idea. Okay. Here's an idea. You back this thing up. I, it Listen, doesn't no, back stop. up. No, wait, let me finish. Not back it up to the spot, but we put wedges under the tires. You back it up. We leave it in park. We put wedges under the tires. You pull forward, and the truck's going to stay here. We could try. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like try to. Like so, we we force go the out truck from under to it. not. Yeah. yeah, to not move in the back. I don't know if my idea would work, but I'm just thinking if we were, put put the brakes down. And, yeah. And give it a good tug. Would it? Would it? I'm willing to try whatever. Because it's not getting any earlier. Okay. All right. I had the clever idea. Unfortunately, we did not get it on video because we were pretty wore out to uh, wedge the tires on the new truck. And then Josh, Josh, hello, hello. Josh pulled his truck forward quick and the uh, C20 came right off the wheel dolly so here we are going up on uh, 1 30 in the morning the day before new year's there she is in her new spot for a little bit sweet why don't you just take me home i'll get my car tomorrow no Take care of the rest of this tonight. Gotta go take this. You got this. You got, you got this. Oh. Dude, that was a clever idea I had, wasn't it? Hey, you pretty excited about that. Yeah, man, it's nice to contribute. Now it's gonna suck. What's that? It's pulling, getting this thing out of here. Nah, it's gonna be. You just back it up right there, dude. You want me to guide you? I can try to. All right, let's do this. You need that light back here to see. All right. All right. Signing off. I told you this episode wasn't gonna end without this car running and driving. There we go. There it is.